This is the Marvel Legends series, Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, Tony Stark and Iron Man, Mark I. I picked up this set at Our Toys, and this set is the first, number one, the first of a series of single and two-pack and three-pack sets uh, by Hasbro from the Marvel Legends series celebrating the first 10 years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And wow, um, there are a lot of, in the series, there are figures that we've always wanted but never got. Now Hasbro's trying to give them. And this one, probably, I, I, you know, I'm a big Iron Man fan. I love the Cinematic Universe, Iron Man. And this was something I really had to get. And a lot of collectors, I, I'm assuming, are gonna get this set mainly for the Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark action figure. Um, all right, so let's let's get this set out of packaging, shall we? And here they are outside of packaging, and if the figures look familiar, that's because they are just repacks and redecos of previously released Hasbro figures. Let's start with uh, Tony Stark. Um, the only thing new about this figure is that wonderful Robert Downey Jr. likeness uh, of a head sculpt. Um, they have this new face painting technology that Hasbro's been employing with Star Wars figures and now Marvel figures. And it looks very nice. Uh, actually, from the uh, from the eyebrows down, they I think they got it. They got that Robert Downey Jr. look. It's the hair that's really messing up the figure for some reason. Um, I don't know if it's the paint or the sculpt or the proportion of the hair. The hair looks accurate. I mean, that that's how he was 2007 Iron Man. Uh, but it's just something about it. I can't really place it. Um, it just sort of kind of ruins the sculpt, kind of makes the... It ruins the silhouette. I, I don't know. It makes it a little bit squat instead of slender. But at certain angles, it looks fine. I, I don't know. The plastic they used for the head is a nice shiny flesh. Plastic makes him look a little bit oily. But it looks really, really nice. And if you're looking for Robert Downey Jr. Iron Tony Stark figure, this is the one that you want to get. Um, I think they nailed it with this one. Okay, uh, the torso is just Coulson's torso, Agent Coulson from the Toys R Us 3-pack, the Shield 3-pack, and the body is, again, Coulson or Dr. Banner. Speaking of Dr. Banner, here they are together. And this looks great. I, this, is, this is wonderful of Hasbro, putting these two geniuses together. Now you can do your Age of Ultron thing, and uh, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just really happy to get a Tony figure. And you get Bruce, as you can see, the arms, the legs, it's the, uh, the torso to a certain extent is the same. He's got a new torso, it's a ball joint, ball jointed uh, upper torso. This one is just a ratcheting, ratcheting hinge joint. Oh, is it a, oh, it is a ratcheting hinge joint. They just remolded it uh, because they used a Colson uh, torso because it has a necktie. But the shoes, the hands, exactly identical just painted differently um so yeah so okay that's the uh that's the tony stark figure okay now on to the mark one figure now when i first started collecting iron man marvel legends after toy biz um this is one of the figures for one of the first figures i got which i really loved i had disposed of it already simply because it was had a very small scale and it's a shame that Hasbro decided to just repaint that figure. I mean, not really. I mean, the paint of this, the paint apps that they put on this one, the type of plastic they used, absolutely gorgeous. Um, as you can see, it's it's got the darker finish. It's got a very shiny metallic. It's like the thing wasn't built in a cave. It's like it's been um, restored. After they took it out of the cave, they restored it. They buffed it. They fit. Wow. Look at it. It's got these stains here and there, which is to trying to make it as accurate as possible with the way it looked in the movie. But the the the, the shininess of of the paint apps, the one, it's it's beautiful. I mean, it, it it feels like it's been restored. That's what it is. Very very nice. He still has that same um, push. You push the you you pull the um, the missile, and it's supposed to launch the flamethrower. 
uh, it's not working now, but that, that's what it's same gimmick. It's the exact same figure that they released in 2007 of the Mark One, but with better, more premium paint apps. Uh, and, and I like it. I like it. I really like it. And the only thing, if I'm going to nitpick, is that it's not in the perfect scale. Because he's supposed to be in it, and it's not. It looks like a replica. It looks like a statue. It looks like something like a hobby shop would put up. To, to attract customers to their store. It's not, because the current Iron Man figures right now are about in this scale. Um, and this this size of Iron Man, that is a believable size. I mean, some a figure like this or a character like this could fit in there, assuming that the metal plates are very, very thin. Um, he's found a way to thin them out and just wrap it around his body. This is a more this armor is a more believable believable armor for Tony Stark in this scale compared to this one because this one should be about around here because it was made it was like a tank and it's a shame that Hasbro didn't quite redeco or um, give give us a new Mark One mold. I mean they could have. I mean, they've been doing it with their Transformers. They could easily just upscale or upsize this particular mold, use the same elements of the mold. It could be an exact replica, but just in a bigger scale. And that would have made a difference in this entire set. Uh, a lot of collectors weren't really paying attention to this set simply because it's they're just repacks of various body molds. And they're just really after the Tony Stark figure and they're probably looking to wait to get this one on clearance. But for me, as a I'm a big Iron Man fan, especially in the MCU. I had to get it because I love this mold and I think this is a great Tony Stark figure. But then again, you know, having said all of that, it would have been super, super awesome had they made a slightly bigger version of this Mark I. So, uh, with that, it's a great set. It's going to get a 9 out of 10 for me. I think it's it, it's a wonderful addition to your cinematic universe uh, Marvel Legends figures. If you missed out on the Mark I back in the day, it was great. It's a great figure, just not in the correct scale, but still, nevertheless, a wonderful, wonderful figure. The Tony Stark figure, the best we've gotten. I think this is as, as good as it gets for Tony Stark. Uh, in the MCU. So, hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Marvel Legends series, Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, Tony Stark, and Iron Man Mark 1 2 pack. Thanks for watching.